you have been accused personally, Honorable Gashagwa, of using proxies to fraudulently secure tenders, using 22 companies with you as the sole beneficiary. In fact, you are listed as one of the beneficiaries of the first times financial improprieties, unaccountable tendering, and so forth. There are Kenyans watching this program tonight. Yeah, yeah. I want to give you a chance to set it on the record. Waihiga, when I did business, I was not a state officer, okay? I was not a governor, I was not an MP, I was not a PS, I was just an ordinary citizen. Uh, working with other people is not a crime in this country, Waihiga. Today, if you had a tender, you win, and you come to me and you say, I have this tender for 20 million, I need 15 million. Can you lend it to me, and I give it to you, do the tender? When you are paid, you pay me back. It's not a crime. That's what I did. I worked with many people. And I had no reason to use proxies because I did not need to hide my identity because I was not a public servant. Nobody can accuse me of abuse of office. Those allegations have been there. So even now, as a MP, you, you I have are not nothing, controlling companies nothing by has Nothing has been brought up I have done when I'm a member of parliament. These are things that happened 10, 12 years ago. You know, clean business. And that is why uh, I'm being persecuted in the press. I have asked them, if you have evidence that I've stolen, take me to court and I'll face justice and I'll be vindicted. You know, but you can't just accuse somebody in the newspapers. You cannot accuse somebody for business he did 12 years ago that it is a crime to do business with Wahiga. There is no, there is, there is no crime. Because I want to ask you this: You're telling us this evening that you can account for every shilling, every cent that, that I in own that. in this country. Every cent that I have earned is clean money, and it's upon those who allege to prove. You know, the laws of natural justice, Wahiga says, you cannot condemn a man and hand. All those allegations were not there before I supported William Ruto. I was PA for Uhuru Kenyatta. Those allegations were not there. All the years I supported Uhuru Kenyatta, nobody had a problem with the way I'm doing business. Okay. You know, you know before, and, because and these things you... I did in 12, 12 2011, 2012, 2013, Let's say, 2014. Because I want to give you a chance to settle these, these uh, allegations yes, this evening. Yes, yes. For example, we are told that 202 million shillings yes. from your personal accounts were frozen. Yes, they were. Where did you get that money from? I got money from business. And I've accounted what, for every cent in court. What businesses are I there? have explained in court. 20 million, I did business here. These are the papers. 13 million, these are the papers. Now give us this, enough idea. No, no, I, those, those are matters before court. But I can tell you, they froze and uh, I was called upon to explain. And they should have asked me to explain before they froze. They did it the other way around. They froze, and the court asked me to explain. The matter is coming up for hearing, and I can tell you I have no iota of worry that I'll account for every cent that I own. My concern is why was I not be asked where I made money when I was with Uru Kenyatta as his PA? When I was campaigning for him 2017, nobody had a problem with where I got money from. They only have a problem when they're trying to intimidate me to abandon William Ruto. And I said, I'm a very pre sport person, Wahiga. I am not a man of yesterday. I'm a son of the Mau Mau. My parents were in the forest fighting for independence. I am not a fellow who is easily You're scared by anything. I am saying I made my money properly within the law. I have not broken any law. And because your we, critics in say, the fullness and, of time. And, and you've, you've made your, your point quite strongly. Your critics say that you use politics to shield and confuse those what who would politics, question. What politics? I did not have any position. Would question, no, right well, now, Higa, I as, didn't as, have any as, position. As we speak, your political position but, 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 to but shield the, the issues, those who would want to further interrogate the source no, of no, your no, wealth. The issues that are being raised happened long before I became a member of parliament. Ten years ago, nine years ago, eight years ago, nobody then was asking me a question. Until when I was called and intimidated to abandon William Ruto, or I'll see what will happen. And I said I'll not abandon him. And then things started flowing, a lot of intimidation, a lot of harassment. I am saying myself I'm innocent. I am ready. If the DCI has evidence against me, he can arraign me in court. I'll have my day in court. I'll be able to account for every cent that I own. Okay. It is upon him to prove that the money that I have is proceed of crime. Okay. It's not me to prove. Okay. You know, and I'm saying, Wahega, let us not use the criminal justice system to manage politics. Politics is managed through persuasion, consultation, and concurrence. You get people and talk to them. Don't intimidate me that you said that this year to me if okay. I have this. You've even made, even two weeks ago, you've made I was threatened that if I don't get out of Kiamba, I will be arrested and taken to court. I told them I'm ready. Even today, I'm ready. Any day, any time, anybody is ready to take me to court. I'm ready. Okay.